Mama wanga po jende zisisa wake. Nese gala musimu no mukama ga siri buluji. Ndoo sabinji kuhusaini. Tushwa banyaze mbabuli. Ndoo sabinji kumwana wangi yali mwana wange. Nyo, nyo, nyo. In his room, we found a picture of Walugembe. He had written something which was really terrible. The boy told him that, Afandi, I'm going to burn myself here. For them, they thought maybe it was a joke. Just opened the, the flask, he lit a, a matchbox, then he burnt himself. Mukuru kama ni duanga usaini kwa lugembe. Oktuko kwa kumakuwa mwenye mkado kwa polisi mbitu nubi ya masako. Una kulegule shuga chema saka chagudamu wa cheka ngo. Usaini wa lugembe. Boya hili dama futa na yoku makuwa mwenye. Embele ya lugembe ya tabu daboda boda boda mshundu chema saka una kulegule. Ngabala nga poliso kufule shoku wa maboda boda zaabu mwenye. Olva nyuma na wakanda senti. Tuvawala, mutulaba kumwenya muna ye mbe rambi, bilirwenzo kukalwe mbala, tuta ambla na ye ntunuste zicha akuba. Obulamu wange kuba dekugeze sewa, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Sama nyanti ya chitanga la chechiri nzija mbla mbwensi, tutuka tutewano, olumu neji soku zalwa, nze chimu kubiba libyava monte se ganyayaba antuaba kuru ababidi. Kuba de kugeze sewa, embera ya abugubi, emiaka abiri mumukaga mubuka mubuka. With the case of Walugembe, Walugembe was a younger man trying to earn a living and he was living with his uh, uncle. His uncle is, a, a, uh, by that time he was uh, uh, a police officer attached to Masaka Central Police Station called Mr. Sekabuza. And then uh, Walugembe, being that he, uh, he, his family is not well off, and being that he, he dropped out of school because of lack of school fees, he came to his uncle and he was residing in a massacre police barracks with his uncle. Saying, Yari Mana Wang, Gamagala knew Yakula Yese Urunji, Mananga Murunji. Nimba Sakabu and Akota Yumana Wangechi, or Nanga Juliet, not an aqua to get Kabulunji, or no sola, and was seca, candidate of saying you know, one mana muchi, because Umana Wango, and American brother Wang Sekabuza Mubaraxi, and Gamba Sekans and Berry, can you can't hear Michalo, who say in Mukozechi, Mukulikedi, Badang and Akiriza, and Sekas of Manachi, and Mukozin yo Nagging away to get a revenge, Mkola Missana Nachiro. Na ye bidoto nabi tu kilizanti ango otulo sifono. Na soma katono, na ye njize binji. Vyeni nabi tono, na ye neyagaliza binji. Mama musubiza binji, na ye mutuwa lila katono. Tata, teya ninda kukula. Owatari muami, omulenzi ya fuko omusajja. Abali ya bomu kwa no kwa ukana. Chechorua achi, na ange nchete gereza. Nchete geka. So they had their family issues which forced them to separate. That separation between the parents caused him to drop out of school. I invited them and I managed to construct a kiosk for her uh, along Mbalala uh, Road in Masaka town. So she managed to start life from there. And she was sleeping in that kiosk with the sun. At Wabeda, Wabeda, Wabasika, Wabam Blacks and Ram Gabakolachi, Gabamula, and Gabakolachi, Gabanda, Kanwaba, Womu, Om Sirikale, Nagaman, one of the Gabra, the Wangi, to say, you know, I told Mutu what day. Nagana, you know, to not form the Anga, and I've never said before, would you, police? Father Naga, saying, and also. Brother, 
Well, again, they had become a very prosperous man because for the short period he had started working, he had befriended uh, police officers who interested him with the responsibility of cooking for suspects. And he could earn something. In the morning, he used to do some casual work um, in the barracks. Then in the afternoon, he could go and ride that border border. Planning Emiaka abiri mu mukaga muvubuka mute biroto nkuyanja bwe kunyumiza jemvu de byesanya bibadde bitono ndiwo kulwa katonda ne sala za mukadde mbalaga subi useni yangu benanga simu ngamije gamo chi mama tukole mama nyiki rokole nanga mama kankole chi kankole matu tubere bulunji kwa mama tubonye bonye chi tufu twabona Kuseini ya wele ranga habana bange. Kuseini na wele ranga mkayumba kari yeyo. Ngecho ukulia. Ngandete na mafuto ulumu. Nangama matunda. Uwele yu atanawa kumala yu chie. Atanawa kumala yu. Nakata mafuta nchaga gaina. Kasente kaboda kakusonda. No kufuna kaboda bwalibu gumingiriza. Nento no zenkola. Tezimala. Na yeyo masanga nzira ebini nze binji. Atako le tali ile. Nze gwemula bechemi sana chinzira. Akato no kenina kwensi bido lukoba. Vuli pulani jiembala kwe tambulira. Ne waliwa abanda bangomulimo. Gwa kule mesa. Omona mungu wanafuna ukuongeleza kuzebafuna. Aina ya ayongeru wako. Gwa kujia kutayogeru wako. Tutu katutia wano. Omwana nganga picha jumuza ya lichi ya likumuwa angu. Chiteke dene. Nga ayadinze mwenda kwa soa na yewe mna bagambi etuwa haa. Aleta yu sumurunzo. Amu wako lichi, agule wako lichi, haji ingise. Katuwa yomusirikali kwa ba yuta owaru asanga wachi. Yosea ba yalibia COVID. Asanga wu piche yu. Ya kwa hata picho mwana mwagamba pichi nsula wano. Ata pichi yangu kwa lachi, otuhala ya haji. Musirikali cha yako ya kwa hata pichi na kwa lachi, na haji tuhala kutuwazi. Pichi yu mwana. He found himself in a position that he was oppressed. What he never wanted. And the boy kept on uh, telling the police, you people, you give me my motorcycle because this is my source of what? Income. He kept on demanding for what? For a border border. He was asked to pay 40,000 as a fine. Then the boy said, I don't have the money. The money kept quiet. The second day, the boy, the boy was advised to go to the OC station of Massacre Center Police. Then the OC station told him that you go in the traffic office and negotiate with the traffic officer. Then he will give you a, what? Your motorcycle. Then he went there. The traffic officer just looked at him and told him, you man, have you brought the money? He went to a friend and he bought the money. He gave the money to the police what? traffic office. Then he told them that, you, you people, now being that I've paid the money, you just give me my, my motorcycle and I go because I have to get money. My family members are too poor. They told me that you, you come the next day and pick what? your border border. Nganzo mkule mbeze okogela ni fulata niteyebio kweli nda wali wu mbiserebio masaka wali wu sergeant ya liatu wala station yeyo ya wamu ita ereru mkulu oyo na mutu ukirira ni mutegeza ko kusongezo ni mga ambaden saba omuvubu kono wa muwe pichie sergeant na ngamba anti pichie 
aina kumala kugera ne DPC wa de yaji kute. Obisere bi ona nonya DPC na musanga mukamoto ka wonga atud. Ne mola gida, oba ne mugamba sa mola gida. Ne mugamba ati tukwate pichi pichi ya walugembe tujimuwe kuvange mbera ja ita musinunji. Tebaso wala kuwa walugembe pichi. He wanted his motorcycle. And they, are, they were not giving his motorcycle. Some people they feel justice is being denied to them and so they opt for suicide like we saw the case of the Boda Boda rider in Masaka. Kwa unakuluari wa kuna Hussein Gamazogula Pichi. And the picture wang was saying in a day on the picture in a machine, one I am Gamola and Brunji. Ah, I would not go say any or go get any say any, no more of my soga and dated Pichi. The number of which gambage on the one number of food day. This is the one. Nadimon Nemiro Vice Wang and Uncle Vidasim. Nantegazan chairman, Walugembe, Yokereza, which the Vetia Police and Massacre, Naduka, Mendok took a which the Vetia Police and Massacre, Gachitu for Walugembe, Yokeza, Natawachari, Montu and Naki, the Zawakuing, the which the Vetia Police. The Dana College Sovoka Chuna, Okulaban, Timfuna family, Walugembe, then Jogera Nayo. It is that is our sat. Nakuzo is in Kabit. Obulamu wange mbadde mu kutambira mu kizikiza ndoza likane ko resident ambile ne kitangala mukama azikiriza nji je joli nsonyuwe bisobye mbadde ntambulira mu geye na bwenzi je yonchu sizamu gowe buze chiche wandi koze ngabo badoina mwe subi be bakujeke subi etono lyo badoina atanja galiza kulya anja galiza kufa cha kitufu mbadde mu vubuka mukoze Nafi <laughs> Nakuzumazing <laughs> Yakolanga knew the Cassel and a tattoo of Wongo Bubacolaji, a very abocola. Gananga and Pesho could have with him. We are back. Why a gamanga mamma, the Quigga pitching Jacqui Girakuyang. Era ya two so far, the pitcher and Najiman. Why a guardy no more is the guard with Nav. Chinen, you Chinen, you said a cunyola. 
Ganafa bakuze miyaka emeka te tufuna nga wadde na kagali nga kafu nchitegedde he no mwana nga na akula ganti akunganya kana akunganya kana akunganya kano nako le kintu yali chifana nabo echi sadam kula bakuseyini sadam We are impounding very many vehicles and, and the motorcycles. But people don't behave like that. But for this one, he did so. Mwanaonge ya tandika ati ya dala dala. Kutuka kumbere yuji ya tuka kukwe etu. Chia tandika chitia. Era mukama ya chireta atia. Era checha yuji muriko. Nebu zebu mizo binji. Nenga sifina kwa chitufu na chi. Na chi mu. Kwa ngumana ya ringa tanyiga. Kulanga ya nyiga na kule chintu chari ya chinendi wei chitu. Nei uze chitia. Mukama wa chiteka wotia. Nei uze uze. That fateful day, they told me he was killed. I communicated it to somebody from CPS. He told me, no. Walugemba has committed suicide from the office, traffic office. There was no wonder to me. I knew his behaviors very, very well. I was not surprised. I was not surprised because those are things which he always talked about. He was such a calm boy, but when he's annoyed, he was so emotional. So he could lose temper. And he never wanted anybody to op oppress him. Someone is suffering from a mental illness, and suicide is the final step in the mental illness. The symptoms of the mental illness make it hard for them to continue living their life. So someone, for example, is depressed and is constantly sad. He's sad all the time. So he decides that, you know, the world is, is not worth living anymore and then suicide would be the final act. Or someone is suffering from schizophrenia, for example, he has lost touch with reality. He's hearing dead people talking to him, maybe the devil is tormenting him, things of the sort. So he decides that it is better to die than to stay in the world and be tormented by things he cannot see, things that others cannot see, things of the sort. Anybody who could try to, to push him against the corner is when you could see his true colors. <laughs> but he was such a calm boy, and he could, he could have just a few words, very quiet. Someone will take their own life as a form of protest. You guys have squeezed me so much, you guys have been so unjust to me, so let me do this to show you that what you've done to me wasn't fair. Or let me do this so that you can also feel it. Because we have heard of children doing it for the parents to feel it. Or loved ones, husband doing it to the wife, or wife doing it to the husband. So it can be a form of protest. You have done this to me, so let me also do this. This is the ultimate act. We always find him with uh, sharpened knives, or swords in under his pillow. intention was even to, to die with uh, an officer who, who was uh, uh, investigating the, the case of his motorcycle and the man survived not He wanted to end that pain because he wanted his motorcycle. So he could not remain with that, with that pain in him. I want my motorcycle they are not giving me and it was his mugore. He never wanted to remain in that operation. At least he dies. So it's something which is called like suicide by police you provoke the police officer to shoot you dead. People will think the police officer shoot, shot you, but in actual sense, it was an act of suicide. You wanted to die, so you made the suicide happen. Every suicide really, really affects families. 
that tragedy affects the families, it affects the communities. It has a long-lasting effect on the people, on the family members. And that is why many people do not want to talk about it because there's a lot of stigma associated with it. But it's important to know that before one completes suicide, they've actually talked about it several. Okay, it does not happen impulsively. By the time someone completes it, they've talked about it. In his room, we found a picture of Walugembe. He had written something which was really terrible. He was predicting his death before that he had put in Uganda. Yet he died on 2nd July 2020. So he had already prepared for his journey. He had a Sarawakumana <laughs> The <laughs> Someone can suffer from a mental illness, but it's not obvious, it's not written on their face. They will suffer silently with it, and then what they need is sometimes they call it a trigger. So someone has been suffering for a long time, and then there comes a trigger. Usually a trigger is a hard situation in life. You're, you're squeezed against the wall, and then it becomes too much suddenly, and you bust, you're like, no, let me call it quits, let me end it here. And then the person ends his life. Especially when someone does it in a very violent way, or in a way that the public is going to see, in a way that people are going to talk about it. Usually that may be a form of protest. Okuva or Tufunye vyo kuyiga vingi na dala mweyo istole itajia kuruwa honga yera viruwa. Nti walugembo kufarwe yeyo siya tuze tuteka o emisomo heje nja uro. Mubavuzi ba boda boda, mumasaka wewa olumu tusomo zebuwa. The Ministry of Health has a small budget for mental health, very small, less than 10%. And we know that mental health problems are a growing challenge. But still we must commend the government. We know that in every region of the country. So there are 16 regional referral hospitals and each of them now currently has a running functional mental health unit. I mean bed capacity for admission, I mean psychiatrists, psychiatric nurse, it's, it's stuff. It's not the best but there's something there. So if someone is dealing with a mental health problem, that is the first place to go because it's there within your community and it's free. But then we know that so Uganda is a, people, people are plural, pluralistic, meaning that you don't rely only on one thing. Actually, we have found that people come to the hospitals as a last option. They will begin with the traditional healers, they will begin with other methods which may not work, they may begin with, with, with churches and all, of, all those things. The responsibilities with the family members and the friends, so people at home, let's take care of each other. If you think that your brother, your sister is going through a hard time, be there for them. If you think your friend is going through a hard time, be there for them. Don't simply accept the answer of I am fine as a truthful answer. Someone may tell you that they are fine just because they don't want to burden you, but not because psychological and mentally they are well. So the family has a great role. If you think that your family member is not okay, be there for them. You don't need to do anything special, just giving them time. Listen to them. 
help them deal with the challenges. You don't have to solve the problems for them, but be there for them. Listen to what they are saying. Give them a piece of advice here and there. If you see someone is going on the wrong track, he's drinking too much, talk to him about that. Stop taking too much alcohol. Stop smoking that substance. We have to be there for each other. And then people who have more serious mental illness now, so someone is getting some of these signs. The most common one is usually, so the, 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 the most common first sign for you to know that someone is not doing well is that their sleep pattern is going to change. Someone has been sleeping well and then all of a sudden his sleep pattern changes. You notice that someone is irritable. Irritable is when someone's moods easily go off. You have been laughing with him here and then in the next moment the person is angry with you. The other thing is someone not being productive. If it is a young child they are not doing their homework. If it is someone older they are not attending school, they are not attending work, they are not going to campus or when they go there they don't perform, their grades are poor. This should raise to you a suspicion that something is going wrong with this person. Ask them. If they're not comfortable speaking to you, get someone else. Get another relative. Get another friend. Or seek professional help. As we have said, the hospitals are there for this. Go to the hospitals, get these NGOs involved, and this person will be helped. President <laughs> Katawibim <laughs> Sinasonga rwachi nsigala nchari mulamu. Sichiko zisa kwa gala mbera yensi ndikiriza. Munda ba nsirika. Na yenda jana neta agabu yambi. Nena abu sabani ya nasobola ukunte gira. Vuli muntu wa inacha itamu. Sisobola kubati kamu gugugu wange. Leka antambulo lugendo wange. Tu itamu kwenye girizibwa. Sicha jukirange likubero umusanyu fuwechi ulikikamu. Guno mulanga, ngatona isa muntu mbisoka webuze. Uwajaise, racha akola chakola, bubunani zibu wabu kewe na kumutai. Embele tukuata amatai, uvako uchibu wa uliriza. Bulichimuchi jaku babu lonji, nguwa mkubiriza. Olugendo luoblamu, likatulutambule fembi. Fena tu ita mchizi kiza, na yoba mugu mungo inabuwa ita muna ye. Na awe aita mkugeze sebwa, tuti ya kusababu ya ambi. Okweko miasiku ya kusinga, obulumi ya ugobu koma, na ye bole sema wegoba looze zako. Mkubwa omulanga, tuteka wemi watwa, haba ita mkusomo zebwa, jibana asobola okusababu ya ambi, ngate wali kubala mula. Wadembeira etukamula etumiu miula, Mbiruwa kole chiko wecho kuyamba mkwano goso mulula. Mkasiri se, oyo gose kana ye uliri za bulunji. Yeta agabu yambi, alimukula ajana. Wetube ilaba anji inga tuita mchizikiza. Wetumwe nyamu, echitanga ala chidja.